middle. Didn't work for Hulak, and Ferraro turns for Red Deer. Ferraro caught from behind, knocked off the puck. Nichols working hard there. Sipped it back into the blades, end of the late offside against the Rebels as we approach the midpoint, and now pushing and shoving after the fact, and Ferraro gave Viadensky a shot, and Hulak's into it. Hulak and Ferraro have dropped the mitts. The Blades captain is upset, and he's throwing rights at Landon Ferraro and not missing too many. Ferraro really hasn't got anything started. Now Inglis wants to go with Petrovic. And Inglis is raining lefts in on Petrovic, who's much the bigger. And Inglis trying to hold in with the big Red Deer defenseman. Now Inglis has lost his lid, and Petrovic's trying to throw lefts, and Inglis is trying to hang in there. Inglis battling back, but Petrovic just threw a big left. They both go to the ice. Inglis will land on top. And the linesman who got the initial combatants, Ferraro and Hulak, to the penalty box will now separate those two. And that's Inglis' second scrap of the night, and that'll be the end of his night. Well, you know, Les, I was kind of wondering. You know, it's been pretty quiet here, 5 one <laughs> 6 one, seven, one. And I'm not sure... Uh, what happened to Derek Hulak? But him and, he got into it with Petrovic at the start of the it's kind of start of this thing, and he was ticked off about yes, something. It must have been something that happened, maybe a cheap shot within the play, you know, against a skill guy, and he snapped and uh, he gave uh, Ferraro a dirty beating. Tell you later, or whatever. Not well. Like, he's going to tell me later because he just earned himself a trip upstairs to the uh, backstage lounge for the interview. Because on the way, I was watching the exchange here at the bench and. Uh, he was giving it to Petrovic, and then Ferraro came in there to try and, uh, I don't know, protect the big guy. <laughs> it didn't work out too well for Ferraro. Oh, I'm watching this replay. and I mean, Derek Kulak is about as mild-mannered and gentlemanly a young man as you'll ever find. One of the great ambassadors as a captain of the Blades. Yep. He may not have the fire and brimstone that Colton Gillies had as his predecessor, but he has taken the dressing room that Gillies left behind and has really made it work over the last two seasons. But again, in more of a gentlemanly yeah. sort of a way, a classy sort of a way. But he just snapped there. Yeah, he something upset him, and you know what? Wow. Uh, 